Chris. So I am so sorry for the delay in getting this out to you. It's been very crazy for me. But here I am. I'm going to do your reading. It's going to be a past, present, and future. So I'm going to be working with the Divine Legacy Tarot. And let's go ahead and begin. I'm going to shuffle the cards for you. Doing a three-card spread. And for those watching, you can be part of winning a little reading from me through the Facebook. I have a Facebook, and you can join. And through there, you can win a be be in the raffle for readings once in a once in a while. I put them in there, and you can be part of it. Okay, so we've got in the past the Seven of Swords, which is a card, as you can see, a person that is kind of in the middle of the night trying to come in in this home you know and they're not supposed to coming in this home they're intruding they're being it looks like a theft right so in the recent past you had some sort of disappointment deception uh, maybe someone betrayed you in some way or someone was not honest with you someone just did some sort of underhanded move something negative came about recently in the past and it was just a you know a disappointment for you recently in the present, we have the Page of Wands, a card that talks about fire energy. You know, the red is all about optimism. The triangle here we see is all about the divine feminine. You have a beautiful goddess around you that is with you right now, that is guiding you and is protecting you. And this beautiful prism here, we see beautiful colors. You know, I feel like you really are working a lot on your spiritual path, and you have your angels that are really guiding you to see something or go in a direction that you just started to think about maybe you're thinking about a new career path or trying to improve your your career and they're really trying to help you with that okay and again the red energy here is talking about aggression and it seems like you're very focused on a goal and it seems like in times of Sagittarius November to mid-December, you're going to see some goals coming to fruition that you've been wanting to have for a long time. So something that you really, really want um, is going to come through in that time frame, in the time of Sagittarius. So you're going to be very, very happy about that. And in the long-term future, we've got the Ace of Wands. Another career card, a card of fire energy, passion. you got some beautiful sacred little beautiful dragons here that are showing you know balance balance being restored in your life and positive energy coming to you and this fire energy that's coming through the cards are really showing transmutation so meaning that there's going to be some negative things that are going to change for the positive and the dragons are talking about very beautiful guides that are around you and it seems like you have two guides right in front of you in the future helping you manifest a blessing and this is a new beginning that's coming in the fall season for you it's something new that's coming your way and i feel like they're really working hard in the celestial realm to really bring this in your path to really bring this in your future and i am going to pull um my gypsy cards just to get one card out and to see what messages come overall for you And we've got love. So it seems like there's a new love coming in your life. Happiness with your love life coming through in your life um, is what I'm seeing here. So there is love coming in and you're going to be very, very happy with this new love that's entering your life. And also the two doves are showing, you know, union between you and someone else. Happiness and peace because the doves always represent peace. So many blessing, Chris. Thank you so much for your purchase, for your reading, for your being participating. I was going to say your purchase, for your participation in my Facebook page. Um, and I will see you very soon. Many blessings and thank you so much for being part of my Facebook page and YouTube as well.